when people talk about God, they tend really to focus on one single attribute of his, and that's his love. And rightfully so, because God's love is amazing. It's through which we receive forgiveness and grace and mercy. And so we memorize and cherish verses like 1 John 4, 8, where it reminds us that God is love. And that's great, but we shouldn't do it to the exclusion of God's other attributes. It's kind of weird that sometimes we will love to talk about God's love, but we kind of want to hide and kind of push to the side the fact that God is also judge. See, that attribute, the fact that he is judge, should bring us as much comfort as the fact that he is love. Why? Because this world is full of pain. You know it, and I know it. And so we want people to stand before holy and righteous God. We wouldn't want him to look at rape, to look at abuse, to look at murder, to look at attacks, and just look at those things and those perpetrators and say, you know what? No problem. No. I want a God who judges sin, who brings justice to this world. And I understand and I see that clearly in Scripture. And it brings me comfort. Verses like Psalm 7, 11, where it says that God is a righteous judge, a God who feels indignation every day. Deuteronomy 32, 35 says that it is mine to avenge and I will repay. And Ecclesiastes 12, verse 14 says, For God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. These passages, these verses, that attribute of God, the fact that he is judge, brings me comfort. Because I know that people, and even I, will stand before a God who will judge righteously and rightly. He will divide the right from the wrong. He will point out sin and anything hidden in the dark or any deed that was done that was not brought to light in this life will eventually be brought to light in front of God. And I cherish that fact. And I think you should too. And that's today's Bible Munch. If today's devotion was encouraging, please share it with some friends. Hit that thumbs up button to let me know, and don't forget to write some comments down below and subscribe. That's it for me. It's time for you to open up God's Word and get munching.